All right, here's my space door. I'm gonna trigger it with my motion right now. There we go. Uh, right now I have it connected to uh, smart things. I have the motion sensors here and here picking up. Uh, and I'm just using one relay here. So with smart things, well, first of all, I have the 12 volt power here. I don't know if you can see it. 12 volt power on this guy. And that's feeding the power to go to the solenoid valves through the relay. And this is just giving 5 volts to power up my relay on and off. So when it senses motion, this guy kicks on. So now I'll turn it off and it'll switch my relay and shut the doors. You can hear him, you can hear him closing. And then when I trigger it again, like as in smart things with the motion, there we go, they're, they're opening up. Now I need to play around with it because there's a slight delay in the smart things uh, to say that there's no more motion. So I'm probably going to have to do something funky, break into the code um, and make it go a little longer. But here's my little, my little board right now. I just have it kind of, you know, draped and wired. I don't know if you can see it. I got wires going everywhere to play with it and test it. But, uh, Here's my cylinder setup. Um, so I have my regulator here. I have it regulated to 50 PSI. Uh, and then it comes into here to give pressure and then the solenoid valve. And then uh, when these make, it takes it either in or out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this will all be cleaned up eventually, but so here's a little thing on my relay. Uh, so, so there's the, the five volts power coming in. Um, so the five volts is powering up the relay. Uh, when I, uh, hit this guy here, this will actually make make the uh, VCC come on and switch the relay. So, but I'm, as soon as I kill the power to the five volts, it switches anyway. So, it works. Uh, if you have any questions, um, put them in the description. Uh, I did put, I put some foam here or um, to stop it, here, let me let me power this down so I can play a little bit here. So I just have a stupid little foam here. Um, but here's my little connection I made. There's a little uh, alignment coupler, because so, you know. It bounces around and a lot, and nothing's perfect. So you want it, you want it to do that. Um, I pretty much just use Unistrut um, with some black bolts to go through the wood here. Uh, the one thing you got to make sure of is that this is this is uh, flat. Same thing with your uh, your pocket door. I just used pocket doors with, um, I bought the, the wheels. I don't know if you could see them. These are the pop out wheels. You could, you could pop this, this out and they'll come out. Not real easy, but they come out. Um, but there's four wheels on them and there's no way of them ever slipping off track. The only way to get them off is to take them all the way over here to get them off. So... Um, I played around with this before I even put uh, power to it or air because I didn't want to smash my doors. I, I spent a lot of time on these doors, just cutting them out, 
building them and I'll have lots of pictures on there. Uh, and I didn't want to close any of it in because I knew that I was going to uh, be playing with it. And I didn't know how, how long the cylinders were. Well, I knew how long they were supposed to be. But 18 inches, I figure. 36 inch opening, 18 inches. But these little overhangs here are extra. So, oh, one little thing I wanted to show was Oops. Let's see. I got to kill the 12 volt power. One second here. Because they were being, being held closed. So I just wanted to open this up manually. Let's show you what I did to kind of block. I just have foam pushed in here. It's an air conditioner foam. And that's just to block a little light from the other side and to help it... Uh, well, they don't come together too fast because I, I did order the cylinders with uh, the adjustable cushions. And that was an important thing. Uh, so that's pretty much once it gets to the end of its stroke, it'll kind of block it off however you adjust it. Um, also with these here, this, this is for your speed. So you can adjust your speed. I wanted to... Um, I wanted to adjust it so that way they would open a little bit faster um, and close slow for safety reasons. Uh, so I don't know what else I could say. Um, just for the cylinders and stuff, I think it was about... Uh, $700, if I'm not mistaken, uh, just for the cylinder, the, the regulators, the hoses, all the fittings, etc. Uh, I'll put a list of everything in the, in the description in case every, anybody wants to, to try it. So, okay, if you ever try it, it was, it was a fun, fun project here. And now, now that I'm done with this, now I could close everything up and make it look pretty. I still like to paint these doors, uh, make, get them all weathered, and maybe put some greeblies around. Uh, this is going to be my theater over here, but I figure I got to give it some depth. So I'm going to put some lights and everything here. Um, and I was just doing some, just checking some things out, you know, to see what it would look like, uh, getting some ideas, but okay. If you have any questions, let me know. See ya.